very slowly. Let's use our hands. We're going to bring ourselves up and out of this. And we're going to release that leg. Nice and slow. Notice how your joints are feeling. Remove your bolster. And go ahead and lay without it. So I'm going to push that out of the way. All right. And we're going to lay there without it. Again, noticing how the body is feeling. Now we're going to come up and we're going to do the whole thing on the other side. So that was my right leg. If it was your right leg, we're going to switch to the left and vice versa, obviously. We're going to build up our bolster again, just like we had before, because the two sides may not match. So because I was a little bit looser, I know my left side's tighter, um, because I was a little bit looser on the right side and I was able to pull that smaller bolster away, I may not be able to do that on the left side. And I'm going to be true to my body and do what it needs me to do. So I'm going to go ahead and lean back. and see where I am. So yeah, it's already, it's a little bit tighter, so I'm probably gonna hang out here for a little bit longer. I can feel that the knee wants to pop up a little bit. I'm not forcing it down. I'm letting it do what it wants to do, but I can feel like if I was any tighter, that knee would be popping up off the ground. And again, that's totally fine, but I don't wanna try and lower my upper body down further so that my lower body's gonna pop up. So we're gonna stay right here. And we're just breathing deeply. It's no particular breath. We don't have to get fancy in the end. Just make sure that you are breathing. And when you breathe, you do want it to be deep. So you do want your belly to rise and fall. You want it to come from that belly. You don't want to be breathing and you know up here in the chest. And um, I don't want to say panting, but sometimes we breathe really shallowly up in the chest. Um, so for something like yin, hopefully it just naturally because it's relaxing. Hopefully it does resonate with you down deep in your belly. Again, we're slowly going to come up and out and we'll check in with that leg move nice and slowly there's no rush here we're gonna take those bolsters away put them out so that you're not knocking into them there's plenty of room and we're gonna lay down again so again we have rest rest time so try to find what that looks like for you Wiggle around, let yourself be happy. And just notice if you feel any changes within your body. You may not. Or you might feel like something has lengthened or more stretched out. And it's just, it is what it is. So acknowledge it if you feel anything.
go ahead and come up out of that one. So the next one we're going to do is called Caterpillar. So we just did sort of back bend type of things. Now we're going to do sort of a forward fold. So we're going to kind of go back and forth and back and forth. This forward fold is not meant as, you know, a closing up of the chest and a rounding of the back, although that's what it looks like and, and to some extent it is. But we're going to try and get into the low back to stretch out, the hamstrings to stretch out, and even the neck if you tend to hold your tension in your, your neck and shoulders. So what we can do is we send our legs out in front of us. So first things first. They're out in front of us and they're separated. They don't have to be together. Then you're going to kind of move stuff around. Technical term back there. So that you're sitting up tall on your sit bones, you're not down here kind of falling backwards. If that is you, if you just tend to be really tight in those hamstrings, you're going to pop your knees. You want to be able to sit up on your sit bones. So if you look at the side, I'm nice and tall here. My knees are popped totally fine, okay? You do what works for you. I can do this with straight legs and still be able to sit up nice and tall. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put your bolster kind of in your lap. You can pull it up really close if you want to. And then you've got your other bolsters as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to hinge from your hips. So you kind of play with it where you want to be. But you let your legs fall. They don't have to be flexed. They don't have to have anything special going on with them. And then we're going to just roll ourselves forward. So you kind of just round. You try to lead with the belly. You come on down onto your bolster. And you can drop your head to one side if you want to. Some people like to do this. Um, but I like to do the one side thing. And maybe you're finding that you're getting a lot of pull and you, you need a higher bolster. So if that's the case, add more, more pillows and whatever you need to do, okay? So you want to be comfortable. So then we just rest here. So you're supported. You might feel something. You might feel hamstrings in your thigh. You might feel um, your low back getting stretched out. And that's okay. So just like before, you're just letting yourself hang out. You're just letting yourself rest and breathe. And again, if you've been on the bolster for a while and you want to start to kind of pull it away, you can. You can let the neck hang. As long as it's not painful, there's a difference between, ow, oh, this really hurts, I can't stand this, and then you kind of guard, your body guards, you kind of hold your neck up, and then there's the complete, ah, oh, that sort of release. That's what we want is that release. So if you are holding a posture and it's just you're just not ready for it, you're still guarding or you're feeling the need to kind of hold the neck up, like this would be me holding the neck up, not good. You want to be able to completely relax. We're going to turn the head to the other side. So if you had it on one side, you're going to turn it the other way. Feel any stretches that you feel. And breathe into any places that feel tight. So breathe into that. That means use your exhale. That means focus on the area that feels tight. Exhale into it. Feel yourself become like really expansive. Send the breath to that area. And then when you inhale, try to relax on that as well. And we're going to go ahead and bring ourselves on up, nice and slow. Take your time. Come back just a little bit. And we're going to take our rest. So we push all of our bolsters, everything out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and lay down.
ready, go ahead and come on up. Okay, so the next one is two-legged saddle. So we're going to get our bolster just like we did for the one-legged. And again, one side might be tighter than the other, so maybe you're able to do it with a low bolster with one leg. Starting out with two, just give it a shot. With a big bolster, you can always take away, but sometimes it's harder to get into a pose and then start adding stuff. So we've got one leg and the other leg underneath. Now, you might be looking at me going, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> so if you have to start here, you can. And then maybe you're just going to kind of hold yourself. Maybe you can scooch down to your elbows, OK? Um, but the goal is to eventually, and it doesn't have to be today, eventually, scooch yourself so that you can sit between your feet, kind of when you were in school, like when you're in school. If that is way too much for your knees, you can always sit up on something, too. So you could always just sit up on so you're technically between your knees and you're sitting on something. That is still a great way to kind of get into the posture. Now you're not leaning back. You're not going to attempt to do that, but you could certainly do the posture here and kind of work your way down to the point where you no longer need the bolster. Your knees and, and um, all the fascia, the hamstrings, the, the quads just might not be here today. So start with that if you need to, okay? It will get easier. All right. So otherwise, we're going to come all the way back. Hopefully our knees don't go flinging up. If that's the case, you probably need a higher bolster. And we'll just start there. So you'll probably feel the stretch down the quads again. If you're feeling any arching into your low back, it may mean that you need more padding back there. So if you feel like you're compromising your low back in any way, adjust, adjust that first. Okay, we don't want to sacrifice one body part for another. We want everything to be comfortable. And then once you're there, breathe into it, feel what you feel, and work with that. And as we're in these, because we're going to hold this for three minutes, as we're in here, if you just feel like this is too much for your knee, you can always start to come out and do kind of a halfway or a seated position. Or if you just feel like you completely need to come out, by all means, you can do that. You don't have to stay the whole three minutes. We have another minute and a half to go. 